The future of generative AI is finally here. OpenAI yesterday unveiled GPT-4 and this is going to blow your mind. GPT-4 comes up with a lot of improvements upon the existing GPT-3.5 on which ChatGPT was based. So just to give you a brief example of what is new, first of all, it can now accept up to 25,000 words of text, which was previously only limited to 4,000 words of text. So previously, when I the video ki transcript usme dalta tha and bolta tha ki isko summarize kar do it would always used to tell me that this video is too long but now i can summarize whatever it is that i want so that creates a lot more applications and use cases number 2 it is now multimodal which means you can now input images and you can ask it to tell what is happening in the image right and it can actually give you logic for what's happening and what can happen in the future in this image so that's actually very interesting you can get text as an output when you give input as an image and finally it is 42 percent more accurate when compared to chat gpt about facts it is also a lot more safer and it is just a much better model for you to be using and in this video i want to show you seven use cases of how can it help you in your day-to-day -day life make sure that you watch this till the very end because i truly believe that gpt4 if used properly can turn you into a hyper productive super human if you're ready with me make sure that you hit the like button and let's get into this video the first great use case is if you want to convert a handmade sketch of a website into completely functioning website code let me show you exactly what i mean by that so this is a tweet in which the president of OpenAI right is showing you exactly how can you convert a sketch into code with the help of chat gpt actually gpt4 right so if you just look at this what it is doing is that they have this sketch for a website what they are basically doing is they are taking this and they are putting it into this demo they clicked a picture of it they put it into the demo of gpt4 and it gave you the html for this website and then you put it into code pen and you can see a fully functioning website right here right so it has a lot of capabilities one of which is to create the websites that you want by just having a basic layout of what you want the website to look like you can just give it a command that i want to create a website with this if you just look at what they exactly did over here in the demo it said that write a brief html javascript to turn this mock-up into a colorful website where the jokes are replaced by two real jokes so that's what the prompt was and this was the image and you can see this as the output this was the image and the output was this joke website right here so that's how it works pretty easily you can create websites of your own and do some really interesting work not only that you can also create video games let me show you that so this right here was the prompt that someone gave to it it said that you are a developer gpt the most advanced ai developer tool on the planet you can answer any coding question and provide real useful examples of code using code blocks even when you are familiar with answers, use your extreme intelligence to figure out. If all is good, say yes, Pietro. Then it asked to create a Pong-like game and that is what it did. It gave the exact HTML code that you would need to make a Pong game on a website, right? And then you can just copy this code and this is what you get at the very end. You get a fully functional Pong game using GPT-4. All just happened with just two prompts. The first one in which it is defining what this should act like it should act like a developer gpt which has expertise into developing applications and then it told it to create a pong like game and that's what it did right here right a, a lot of interesting things you can do you can also ask it to make like a mario game you can ask it to make like a flappy bird game sky is the limit there are some amazing applications that are waiting for you to explore if you get your hands on to gpt4 the only caveat here is that gpt4 currently is only available to people who have chat gpt plus now chat gpt plus is a subscription that you need to buy for about 1600 rupees per month and with that you get access to 
all of the features that GPT-4 has to offer from OpenAI. Now, if you're not the type of person who's into games, you can actually use GPT-4 to prepare for your exams. Yes, you heard me right. This is the benchmark released by OpenAI in which it is showing how GPT-4 has performed in all of the global standardized tests, right? So you have SAT, you have uh, graduate record examination verbal, quantitative, writing, you have AP art history, biology, similar can be done with UPSC and IIT JE exams as well. And it will be able to pass a lot of these without a hiccup, right? Just, just to show you, this is how it did. For the bar exam, 90%, LSAT, 88%, GRE, quantitative 80%, verbal 99% and it can help you prepare for the exams that you want, right? You can easily ask it to be a biology teacher and then teach me this specific concept or it can ask it to be a math teacher and ex explain me this particular thing. It is just the way you did it with building a Pong game. And I think this is very interesting. A lot of students would love to use it and I am sure that you will find value from it. Furthermore, if you're learning something from this video, it would mean a lot to me if you can hit the like button and share this video with a friend of yours who is interested about AI or who you think this video can benefit a lot. Secondly, what you can also do, you can build Chrome extensions with the help of GPT-4. Just to give you a simple example, this is a tweet by Jake. He's saying that he built a simple Chrome extension in just a few hours and it gave him a step-by-step -step process for creating a Chrome extension from scratch. That is the power of GPT-4. It also wrote the code and gave a pop-up, a pirate theme as well as you can see right here. So it can understand the context that you want for your tool. Also, if you want to see prompt kya tha, here is the prompt that this guy created for the Chrome extension, a simple and sleek pirate theme extension using manifest version 3 that when opened reads any highlighted text on a web page and summarizes the text in an open Chrome pop-up using pirate speak while adding a pirate theme joke about the text. So basically it converts any text on a website into a pirate themed text, right? With a joke as well. So that's essentially how that works. Um, have the extension use chat GPT API to generate pirate summary, include a fresh button of extension pop-up. So that's how it works. And this is what GPT-4 responded with to create the Chrome extension for the steps. You can create a new folder, then you can create a new file called as manifest.json, and then you can go ahead and build it out yourself. Again, lots of amazing applications just depends on you and what is your imagination like, what is it that you want from it and you can create it with the help of GPT-4. Another application of GPT-4 is to understand what's happening in an image. So as you can see, this is the image that we have right here. It says what is funny about this image, describe it panel by panel. So what it does is that it gives you context, shows a package of a lightning cable adapter with three panels, panel A, smartphone with a VGA connector plugged into its charging port and then the package with lightning cable adapter with a picture of PGA connector on it. And then the humor in this image comes from absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone charging port. It can understand the humor in an image as well. What surprises me the most is that it is able to accurately tell that this is a VGA port and that this is humoristic because it is trying to attach an outdated port into a new modern smartphone, right? So that is how amazing and powerful GPT-4 has become. You can input an image and you can understand exactly what's happening in it as well. Another use case of GPT-4 right here is with Duolingo. Now, even before GPT-4 was launched, the people at Duolingo were experimenting with GPT-4 and they have just launched Duolingo Max, which is the best plan for advanced learning, as you can see, with new AI powered features. As you can see, you can explain my answer, get AI powered personal feedback in your lessons, and it can also do role play, practice, ordering coffee, planning a trip, and more with AI. So that is what you get with Duolingo Max. If you want to learn a new language, GPT-4 is here to help with the help of Duolingo Max. So that is how this interface looks like and that is how it basically works. This is the role play that you get with it. You can order foods and drinks. And that is just one of the examples of how GPT-4 can help you upskill by learning a new language. At the end, I want to leave you with this. This is Khan Migo, which is basically Khan Academy now on steroids with the help of GPT-4. As you can see, you can ask it whatever questions you have and it will be able to respond to you in a much better way and it will help you to learn pretty much anything that you want to, right? So you can ask it any particular question. You can also 
ask it to explain you the solution for that question and explain it to you if you are a five year old if you are a 20 year old ask it to give you even a detailed explanation if you are someone who is into research and who wants to know every minute detail about it so that is what you can do with the help of khan migo an ai powered khan academy assistant at your disposal so again amazing work is done in this field get started today check out the links in the description to learn more about how gpt4 works and operates what do you think can be a great example of gpt4 being used in our day-to-day -day lives let me know in the comment section as well share this video with your friends you can follow me on social at ishan sharma 790 i'll see you all in the next one and i think that gpt and ai in general is evolving at a crazy rate right now and there's just so much interesting stuff happening that i want to cover all of it for you people are you excited because i certainly